Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree and welcome to another episode of using junky jeans. Today we are going to make some beads out of this jeans. Now you can see here where I've ripped the piece because I did do a little sample just to know what I'm doing. So we just want a strip. So you can do it any width. Mine's going to be about an inch and a half or so. You can do them any width whatsoever. And you're just going to rip up. I didn't go all the way up because I wanted to use the pockets and whatnot. So I went up, I don't know, I got two, two feet of it or something. And I'm just going to cut it off here. Okay, let's move the jeans aside now. I'm wondering how many projects I'm actually going to get out of those. I guess it depends on whether I keep making big things or little things. Now I'm going to take all, all this frayed part. And I'm going to save those. Because they're actually kind of cool. They go good underneath something or... So I don't want any loose pieces. Okay, so now we've got this here. As I say, it is one and a half inches. That's including the bit of frayed part. You can fray this as much as you want or as little as you want. So we're going to have the wrong side facing us. I have some 20 gauge wire. This is artistic wire. I think it came from Michael's. Not really sure, but 20 gauge seems to be a good size. Then I want to place just, I just want to get an idea of the width because I want to make the, um, you know, a little hook on either end. And it's also going to depend on whether you want to add some beads to it or just make it plain. Here is one that I made here. And this you can see a couple of beads with a charm on the end. So I made that a little bit longer. I'll show you a couple other ones when we're done as well. So this one I'm not going to put any beads on it. But just if you are leave yourself a little more room just going to cut that off so this is sticking past the cloth about three quarters of an inch and that will be more than enough to make my little hook so we want that as straight as possible. You could use eye pins or something like that for this if you have some. I'm going to take some art glitter glue and actually before I do that I've noticed that this is quite crooked down here and if it's straight it's it's the first step is a little bit easier. So let's just see if we can even that up a little bit. Okay. Art glitter glue. I'm going to put glue right along the edge and about a quarter of an inch to start. The first little bit, the, the first couple can be tricky. So I'm going to set this wire inside where I glued and I'm just going to fold this over. Now I'm just folding it far enough kind of to go over the wire if that makes sense. I mean these are kind of like boho beads in a way. They're just made with denim and there's no usually a, a 
a boho bead you used like a straw or something in the middle so that's like this so far that's just folded over just a little bit like I say you can make these as wide as you want as long as you want as thick as you want just maybe half an inch of glue just kind of all over the denim and now I'm going to roll it and this part here <clears throat> can be a little hard the first couple you do but once you've done a couple I know it's kind of hard to see because I've got my fingers in there so now we have that now how many times you roll it that's going to determine how big your bead is going to be of course but I just do mine about a half an inch of glue at a time because I don't really know how thick I want to make it until until I get it as thick as I want every now and again I'll kind of try to make it round so I'll just roll it a little bit in my fingers and I'm just going to keep going until I get as big as I want it I've got about three quarters of an inch of glue on it this time now I have found that the wire isn't really glued in um, it will push one way or the other if it's not perfectly round that's okay I think I want it just a little tiny bit bigger so let's put a little more on it it's going to clean off the end of my glue I've been putting the pin back in <clears throat> okay I think that's wide enough and then at the very end when I'm I just roll it back and forth a little bit like this that helps I think just push everything together now I'm going to cut along here and now I'll put some glue just on the very end here and then I can roll it all up and glue down that edge So there we have the basics of the bead. Now you can decorate these any way you want. You could put some, you know, like um, eyelash trim on it. You could get some little tiny um, appliques and put on there. You could put beads, you could lace, anything. And if you frayed this more, you would get almost a like a little poofy dangly thing coming out of there. So let's start at the top and we're going to do our eye. So I'm going to say three quarters of an inch from the top of your denim to how long we want it. Now you could make your little eyes before if you wanted. Those are just a pair of wire cutters. These are like a rounded needle nose pliers. I am not a jewelry maker, so um, I have no idea if I do this right. I just do it 
and it seems to work okay. So I'm going to bring that all the way back so it touches. So there is our eye on there. And this one, I wanted to just wrap some wire. I'm just going to take, I don't know what gauge of wire this is. I have no idea whatsoever. So I'm just going to take, I don't know, maybe six inches of it or so. Because this one here, what I want to do is I want to just take it in the middle. And I want to just put some of this right next to each other, kind of in the middle. And this is purely just to add a little bit of decoration. As I say, you could use anything on these to decorate them. I'm just going to keep going around. I'm going to use up my the length of thread or wire that I took. Now if a person was experienced with jewelry making or something, you could probably do way better than what I am doing, but I'm not worried about it being really fancy or anything. Okay, now I'm going to take a pair of pliers, ones that I can kind of grip. And I just want to Now this might not even work because I don't know if I'll be able to Get my ends down. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to unwrap this. Because I just thought of something here. I'm going to use my plier so I can maybe get this around here tighter. Then it will stay a little better, maybe. I don't really know. As they say, I'm not very experienced in this. But as I say, you can decorate these any way you can think of. Definitely going tighter doing it with the pliers than just with my fingers. But I'm going to try to do up quite a few of these because I kind of really like them. And I'll do it in the stages. I will do like all the gluing first and then I would do all the decorating after I had them all made and stuff. Okay. Let's problem is is when I get to the end then it loosens up. As I say, I'm no expert at this. I don't really know what I'm doing as far as beading and wiring and all that kind of stuff. But I'm here and I'm trying. So let's just twist my players around while I'm pushing that in. Okay works okay. 
I'm happy with that. So we have that bead with the wire in the middle. Now I could easily add this on here, but I don't think I will. So now the bottom, we need a hook because we're going to put this charm on there. So again, we want it again about three quarters of an inch away from the denim. Now, as I say, this will push back and forth through because the glue doesn't really hold it. So I kind of put my eye about where I want it sticking out when I cut the other end. So there's that. I'm going to take my rounded pliers. I'm going to bend that wire over like so. Because now I can oops, take this, grab a hold of it, and just roll the pliers around and keep rolling until that joins up with that other piece. Still got a ways to go. There you can see that. I'm just going to do it a little tiny bit more. And I try to make it so that my, my eye is straight up. Like this one here needs to be bent over just a little bit to kind of, you go up and then you go around, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to use some flat pliers just to squish that in just a tiny little bit more. There we go. You see the end? You could see it if I held it in the camera. Now we're just going to take our charm, grab a hold with just some normal pliers. I don't know the names of all the pliers. I have a second one because the jump ring, you don't want to pull it apart. You want to just twist it. So you just twist it. Can you see that? And now, which I guess it doesn't really matter which end is the bottom. Oops. I'm going to hook that on there. And now when I go to do this up, I just twist it back into place so that they line up. Not quite yet. See all that lines back up again. There's lots of videos out there about um, jewelry and whatnot. And there we have another bead. So here's a couple that I did. There was this one here that I showed you earlier. I did put a bead cap on here, on this one, along with a couple beads in the bottom. I've got this one here, which I just wrapped the wire here, wrapped it around, and ended the wire there, which worked quite well. And then I did this one here, and it's got quite a bit more fray there. And I did the wire wrapping, and I put seed beads on it. Very similar to what people do with boho beads. But those are the four that I did. I really like how they turned out. You could do it with any fabric. And I'm sure people have done this. I'm sure it's not a new idea. But I thought it was a good way to use up some denim. I love the color of most denim. So that's just really nice. I like them. I hope you like this episode of using up or using junky jeans. Gotta remember what I call my series. But 
that I like them. They're good and they're quite easy to make and you could very easily sit down and mass make these just a lot. So check out the Facebook group, check out the other videos, and check out my coffee page, K-O-F-I. And have fun, do some crafting, find an old pair of jeans. I'm going to try and use up that whole pair of jeans on different projects. So have fun, and we'll see you soon. Bye!